Hello my brothers and sisters, I want to make this video for you guys. And this video is about the experience I had with a widow recently. It happened about a month ago. When I used to work at Taco Bell, I met this young couple. They were yelling and screaming in the middle of the, the dining room. And I talked to them, why are you guys screaming? You guys shouldn't scream. And they were like, you know, we were hungry, we need food. I helped them out a little bit with food. And I found out that the girl of this couple, she was pregnant. And I tried to help them as much as I could. Later on, I became their friend. And I met their family, huge family, very big family. And I met this other girl. She's uh, uh, the mother of the girl who is pregnant. And she told me I used to be a Christian. And I want to get right with God again. And uh, we prayed. She said a prayer. She's coming back to God again. She's praying. She's seeking the Lord. Things are changing. But the important thing is that they're seeking God, right? Some of them, not all of them. And God is using me one way or the other to help them. But what really drew my attention was the mother of the lady, that's the mother of the girl who was pregnant and gave, gave birth to this young boy. His name is, uh, what's his name? Jordan. And this lady, she's a widow. I went to visit her about a month ago, a month and a half ago. I went to visit her. I brought the Bible with me. We were reading it together. And she opened up about her marriage, about her relationship with her husband, how it was like. And she told me, this man, he cheated on me. This man was unfaithful to me. And this man was very, like, carnally and very evil. He wanted to sell my apartment. I was, I was at her apartment. We were praising God, we were reading the Bible, and uh, she opened up about her relationship with her husband. And she was telling me how he used to hurt her, how he used to be unfaithful of her, even though he was already an older man in his 60s. And the more we talked, the more she opened her heart to me about what she went through. And it's very difficult to know a woman that has a family and a supposed husband, he doesn't take care of her because he's, he's just focused in the world and he's living a double life. He was being faithful to her with some lady over at her, um, uh, nat um, over at her uh, mother, mother nation, which is in South America. He was, he was taking trips there and seeing the women and coming back again. And he would tell her, I'm going to sell your house. That's what he was telling her. Imagine the mind of this lady, knowing that this is supposed to be her husband, man, he was being unfaithful to her and was treating her bad. She started praying to God. God help me, God help me, God help me. He wanted to sell her house. And she told me, he got cancer. The guy was afflicted with cancer. And he never repented. And she said, he never said to me, I'm sorry. All he said was thank you for me uh, bring him breakfast and lunch. He said, thank you. But he was never sorry. He never said, I'm sorry for how I cheated on you. I'm sorry for how I treated your family. I'm sorry for how I treated you. I'm sorry for how I even treated the people around your life, our family members. He never said that. He just says, thank you for bringing me breakfast and lunch. He died in his scene. And she told me that he, he she told me, she also showed me the picture, he was a car enthusiast. He loved speed cars and he loved old cars too. He died in his worldliness. He got cancer and three months later, he died. And that's it. And he said, you know, I can't believe I'm here on this bed and I'm dying. And um, I'm here on this bed and I'm dying and many people are poor, they have nothing and they are healthy. All that money that I have for nothing. And God afflicted him with a disease. And he actually died. He never gave his life to Jesus Christ. He never said a prayer. Even though she was telling her, you must talk to God. You must make a amendment with God. He said, thank you for bringing me lunch and, and breakfast. That's all he said to her. And he died. But the shocking thing about her experience and, was for, and the thing that she was telling me. Today she's in Europe. She's, she's on a trip there with one of her daughters. But what she was telling me, what she went through, 
the thing that shocked me the most was the next thing that she revealed to me. She said, I'll tell you something. The Bible talks about something about a spiritual world, the light and darkness. And I had a dream from my husband. He came to my bed, to the left side of my bed. And he said to me, the place that I'm at today, I don't like it there. It's very bad. I don't like being there. And he vanished. And I was so scared. That's what she said. I Basically, I was asleep. And I was like, I was waking up and I see him next to the left side of my bed. He started speaking to me. He said, he was kneeling like that on the, on the section of the wall. But he was looking at me. And that was like a couple of months after he died. And he said to me, the place that I'm at, I don't like it there. I don't like being there. And he just vanished. And I woke up. And she actually told me that she had dreams of her sisters, some of her sisters, that they were in heaven. That they were in a place of mansions made of crystals, of floors made of golden color, transparent. She said that there were many picture frames made of transparent crystal. Mansions, huge mansions made of uh, white, beautiful stone, made of golden floors, made of extremely odd-looking shapes that were completely unnatural to us humans. That she said she can't even describe that place because that place is supernatural. And she had these dreams. And I believe that what, and I believe 100% that what she had were revelations from God. Revelations from God. She has a brother who passed away and he came back to the Lord. He died of cancer. And he came back to the Lord while he had cancer. He went to church. His heart was contrite. He showed me a picture of him. He was broken up on this table. He was crying and praying to God. He passed away. and She had a dream of him that he was actually in this mansion. He was descending from the stairs that leads to the mansion. He was walking down from the mansion with open arms to greet her. And she said that he had this beautiful suit on. It was like this blue, sky bluish suit on with his white shirt and, then, and this tie, this beautiful tie. And he, she says he had the most beautiful smile. And he was looking at me and he said, I am fine. That's what he would tell me in the dream. And God was revealing that to her. Isn't it beautiful? That God deals with with us in his supernatural ways. Isn't it beautiful that the physical world is temporarily, but eternal life, the life that we come from, that we come from, and that the life that we're going to and we're gonna stay there forever is for all eternity. It is isn't it beautiful that God has saved our souls, my friends? That's more than beautiful. The Bible says, in all these tribulations and problems and issues and arguments and contentions, you are all more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors, my friends. Everything that you go through in this world. If you want God to give you supernatural revelation, He can give it to you. Because He's God and there's none like Him. He can give you something supernatural. All you must do is seek Him. And He will show you things that you've never seen, that you've never heard of. God bless you guys.